Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Let me just up the volume on Civilization for a bit. It's a little bit low from last stream. I've got my mic fixed now, though. Ooh, I think I might be a little too loud. Let me just adjust that real quick. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We're going to be picking up where we left off last week on Civilization, where we, the Korean Dynasty, have just been sitting in the middle of the country, in the middle of Ellaby from uh, Fire Emblem 7, and we have a lot of science. We're about the year 1850 AD, and we have just discovered... <laughs> we have just discovered in the year 1850 AD the radio. We have the Eiffel Tower. We have the Broadcast Tower. We've discovered how to transmit messages to people over the air in the year 1850. I think we're pretty we're pretty ahead of the curve there, I would say. So pretty much this whole like late game has been me sitting in Seoul, looking at the rest of the map. First of all, regenerate. <laughs> Second of all, we can see that Vienna, the uh, the capital of Austria, is currently under control by the Shoshone. Uh, they'll get that back eventually, probably. Probably. <laughs> That's like 50 years ahead of reality, so pretty good face. What's up, uh, Sikavat? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. We were a little behind reality earlier on, but uh, I think we've caught up. We've caught up, and we're at a pretty good pace. There's some other wars going on, but I've been ignoring everyone else. Everyone else has been coming to Korea for help and guidance, asking me for money and resources, and I'm like, okay, just don't fight me, I guess. Let me chill and do my silly little tasks, and I won't have to fight anyone. By the time, by the time I'll have to start fighting people, I will probably have nukes, so I don't think they'll want to fight at that point. I will, without hesitation, nuke Copenhagen, despite the fact that I'm really close to Copenhagen. Is this a fair trade? Wait, yeah, that's a fair trade. <laughs> he only has one. Of course that's a fair trade. I'm winning that trade. <laughs> I will gladly give one of my extra furs for your singular silk. Who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't want that trade? Wait, but he might have something that one of my cities wants. There's like war going on right now. And there's like, there was a lot of, uh, what is it? Danish units just sitting outside my borders. But it looks like that they were all heading towards Salzburg and Graz, which is good for me. Because it's really scary when you see a lot of enemies sitting in front of you. But if they're all just sitting in front of you so they could be in a safe place, then you know what? I'll give them shelter. I'll let them stay near my border so they can feel safe. But uh, what is it that this guy also had? Ethiopia. This No, that's Morocco. Ethiopia's over here. What did you have? You had some other materials, I think. He had dyes. I'll trade dyes for like... Uh, what do you want for this? Actually, I'll do that trade. An equal trade for my unequal trade. But I get dies out of that, so that's pretty good. Wait, did I already have that? <laughs> I don't know if I had that already. I should have checked. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. It's no big mistake. <laughs> alright, the Danes are literally just moving through my territory. They're not doing anything. So, as long as they're not... Like gonna all place themselves inside my capital and then all right click me at the same time. I think I think I think it's fine that they're chilling there. Ooh, and we have we have the World Congress convening soon. Oh there it is. Pocatello has declared war on Maria Teresa. As if they weren't already at war already. Like he owns your capital. What more war is there to start? <laughs> oh we didn't have dies, very good. Cool, cool, cool. So that's a plus for us. We get the temple. Now, what else can we build in the Busan? We can build big. We could big build culture. Contains three slots for great works of music. Do I want this to be my culture place? I just need. S All I need is science. You know what? We'll get a caravan. Actually, we'll get extra money just by having these guys existing. I'm still. <laughs> I still have three open trade routes, so I might as well make use of them. I keep on. I always forget to like upkeep my trade routes. Which is really bad, because especially early on, if you don't upkeep your trade routes, you lose out on so much resources or money. So, we're going to make sure that we get we get paid properly. Oh no, Darius the first com completed the Louvre. Hey, who cares about art, idiot? Going to a museum? What's that? What? That's not science. What, am, what, what scientific progress am I going to make from looking at pretty pictures? Come on. 
What if they got hentai in there, though? Ooh, and rationalism? This is going to give us... Adopting all policies will grant a free technology. Ooh, wait. Oh, and we just finished radio and replaceable parts, so we can get plastic instantly. Oh, that's big. Because we can get the Cristo de Dentor, and we can get research labs. <gasps> that is some ace timing. <laughs> Adopt that social policy, which does... Ooh, that's even more technology action science. 395 science. And then we can get... We can get plastics. <laughs> we are... We are going into the next era. We got plastic in the year... In the year 1856, we learned how to use plastic. <laughs> All right, the arts are flourishing. Who cares? Production in Busan. We got the caravan. Let's see, two gold when connecting to another civilization. Might as well use that. Where are we gonna go here? I don't believe that there's any other. Uh, I'm going to be hard pressed to find that there's still barbarians chilling around here. So we're gonna go to Fez for that 18 gold per turn. I'll lend some of my science. You, these people need a little bit more science in their life. They need to be a bit more intelligent. They need to use more facts and logic and reasoning to keep up with me. <laughs> Using their emotions with their art and their culture and war. Foolishness. <laughs> Alright. So we're enacting the international... They want to ban furs. I have... Four delegates. Two... Three for enact and one for ban. Keep on wanting to ban my stuff. And I think that's rude. I think this should be enough to win. I can't imagine any of the other nations voting no on the international games. Alright, and then here we have... Honestly, it's just... We're still so far away from the uh, the spaceship parts that it doesn't really matter where... What order I go in first. I guess I should just focus on getting more science. And what gives me science... Refrigeration, no. Uh, oh, actually, the railroad is going to be important because having we're going to get an extra trade route there. We're going to get connected railroads give you, I think, I think they take up less resources or do they give you more money? One or the other. I think it increases production or something. So that would be good to have there and it'll give my workers something to do for once. All right. And then here. Receive one free social policy. That's kind of good, actually. I think we don't need it in the capital, though. We need science buildings in the capital. Look at that, 50% plus science. That is going to be massive. I think we're going to jump to, like, at least, like, 450 science after that, once we've built this in six turns. <sighs> we're pretty good so far. Let's see. We, um... It's, like, so... funny to me how... I'm gonna pretty much win this without really ever interacting with any of the countries beyond, hey guy, what's up? It's like you're in school, like you're the honor student in school who just hangs around, like just walks through the halls, you don't talk to anyone. <laughs> and you just, everyone knows who you are because you're just in all the honors classes, like all the other smart kids, but like, you just pass everyone by. Okay, International Games is active. Furs were not banned, thank goodness. Jonju. We can start doing the international games there, and also in Busan. Let's see. We get a free social policy and a 100% tourism increase. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then increase of city-states with plus three happiness. Yeah, we want to win the international games. We want to be good at sport. Look at Denmark putting their dumb little city here. That's not going to do anything for you. Yeah, sure. Open borders. Whatever. <laughs> Continue to pass through because you somehow blocked yourself in here. <laughs> this is the only place he could have built. Wait. You really want to just give me one gold per turn? Make it three gold per turn. Make it three gold per turn. Eh? Oh. It's typing in Japanese, so it's breaking the game. Two gold per turn. There we go. You can't skimp out on me. Give me one gold per turn. We're not cheapskates here. You got to give me a little bit more than that. Yeah, let's be friends. I'll be friends. I'll do your homework for you. You can uh, you can go roughhouse in the courtyard, and I'll do all your homework for you. That's how this that's how this entire quest is going. We got big ban from Mogadishu. Mogadishu, Geneva is in awe of me, so we're now their ally. We got a lot of friends in high places up here. I have fifteen thousand, fifteen hundred gold. Oh, and gold gifts are more... 
more effective. My ally now. <laughs> they are now my friend, not yours, Persia. Sorry about that. We're still buddies though, right? They're not gonna like try to nuke me because I stole one of their one of their city states. How many city states am I allies with actually? What <laughs> one, two, three, four. And then there's a lot of places that are very close to being allies, so I think we have a pretty good uh we have a pretty good stranglehold on the uh the world world congress. If I should if I so choose to have a good stranglehold on them. Let's see, the international games right now is 6% completed. I assume that's mostly me. 248 production. Let's see how much it'll be next turn. Let's do the number crunching here. It was 248 after the first turn. And then after this turn. If I'm the only one working on the international games, then it should be at 496. Let's see. Valletta elections. Fucking spies. Spy sap in my city state. What? Ooh, we got a great engineer. That's pretty useful. Oh wait, it was 248 after oh 389. Huh, that's interesting. I guess someone must have stopped working on international games, but that's fine. Let's see our productions here. 54, 86, 55. Jonju has crazy production, so we're gonna put you over here for even more production. High production values, baby. When did I get an infantry? Who dropped this on me? <laughs> Not that I have a problem with it. I think that's pretty cool, but also what? <laughs> and then, oh, Busan is just too far away. We can't buy that tile. That's so sad. We're one tile out of range of being able to get that oil. That means every other tile has to be obtained before we can hit this. Oh, that's so sad. And it doesn't look like there's any other oil nearby, too. In my territory, at the very least. Mm, that's going to be hard to progress later on, then. And I don't think other nations will be able to take oil until we actually... Until they have that unlocked. Now the question is, do I cannibalize another town so I can get to that oil? And there's also stone there. And there's a aluminum. That's going to be like the world's shittiest town, though, and it's so surrounded that I feel like it's almost not worth it. I should just wait for the natural growth. Let's see how much these tiles cost. If I just buy a bunch of tiles for now, we'll get some more gold in a bit. But I want to stretch this out so that eventually our borders will expand so we can get that two oil. Because oil is a very, very big resource. A lot of the like mid-late game units are going to be using that, so we want to make sure that we can secure it. Alright, this is 10% completed at 389. We have three more turns for a research lab. We're already at 404 science per turn, too. So we should probably get to, let's see, Seoul has 91 science, so yeah, it's definitely going to take us to almost 450 once the uh, science building gets done. Hmm. Do some good progress. Oh, they they fucking took my boys! They took my boys! Alright. Influence over them. I'm still friends with Monaco, though. That's pretty cool. Monaco is one of my allies. Yep. Everyone likes me. Pocatello is constructing the Brandenburg... <laughs> the Shoshone are constructing the Brandenburg Gate. I always, like, love the, the sort of dissonance between, like, how any nation can build anything in this game, because that's just how it works. So it's like, the Great Wall of China was built in America. Like, that kind of stuff always seems really funny to me. So I guess in this game, they just call it the Great Wall instead of, of China. Because it implies that any nation could have built the Great Wall. Alright, let's go here. What the- what is this guy's name? Oh, Marconi. I thought his last name was Macaroni. Washington has built the pyramids! <laughs> Or like, I'm trying to think of some other ones, like, Ramses has built the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> or Russia has built, Russia has built the Pentagon. <laughs> it's just such ridiculous, like, what-if scenarios. Yeah. Oh shit, he's got the Norwegian Ski Infantry! Is he gonna try to fuck with me with the skiing? On, on, not even on Tundra, he's gonna try to get me with the Ski Infantry. 
Oh, there it is, the Brandenburg Gate. I don't even remember what that does. I think he needs a certain kind of social tenant for that, if I recall correctly. And I don't think I went into it, so it's not something that bothers me. We got dynamite. Oh, research agreement. Cool. I wasn't even trying to do that, I guess. Or no, I think I might have. That might have been part of, yeah, fertilizer and military science. What is this? Research, research, research. Oh, I see. Wait. Yeah, because some of these... Oh, I guess there's just some things I get off research projects. Or maybe it's the ones that... Let me see something here. Radio. Yeah, research is the ones I got for free, I guess. <laughs> And I seem to have gotten a lot of things for free. Alright, military man, go over here. You, build that over there. We got big productions. Big production values. 27% completion on the international games. It's not too bad. It's still a little slow. It's taking a while. I feel like there's a lot more things I could be doing. But I guess just building the, building the research lab is going to give us a lot more science. And we have 25 happiness per turn, so that's going to mean it's going to take 4 times 10 is 40. About 40, yeah, 40 turns to get to the next golden age if I don't speed up any of my happiness. Which isn't too bad. 40 turns would be to turn 240, and we'd probably be pretty close to the end of the game at that point. <laughs> I think on quick mode, games end at turn 330. So we're pretty much like, we started more than halfway through. It's just that... <laughs> It's just that this, um, these turns take a lot longer than late, early game turns. Pocatello is secretly plotting against Al Masur. I have so many things I could say to this guy. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say anything. They can all do whatever they want. I just like to know the gossip, you know? I gotta know the tea. I gotta know what the, what the rulers are trying to do to each other. <laughs> Alright, technology tree. We have this now. Extends the range of land, tra land trade routes. That's whatever. Academy science yield increased by two. I see where I see the word science go up. My brain immediately reacts. We're learning atomic theory, baby! We're gonna make nukes. Yo, the moment I build a Manhattan project, these guys are gonna be like, what the fuck is he doing? They're all gonna like turn to me and try to like blow me up. Ooh, an aqueduct one turn build before before my next food goes. That's actually excellent timing. We build that, and then we get our... What the fuck is all this? You're scaring me here. You're scaring me here, Copenhagen. You're scaring me here, Denmark. I see a little bit too many skiing, me skiing men on the with guns. Yes, I know. I know. I know my proposals are great. I know that... I am a paragon of virtue, and everyone should look towards me to making the world a better place. Now go work on the international games before I beat your ass. <laughs> Alright, and Wittenberg is still dealing with barbarians that somehow got a hand of muskets? I- <laughs> That is also some of the funniest things to me, how barbarians can advance in technology. Like, when you think of barbarians, you think of dudes with axes, like, very uncivilized, but like- when you get to later games and you see, like, cavalry barbarians, <laughs> it's so funny. Like, yeah, we got this, like, armor and, like, these big jousting lances, but we're also barbarians that don't have a home. Like, imagine those guys are the ones that are pillaging you. Or, like, I guess that, I guess that does kind of exist nowadays, too, still. Like, depending on how you want to consider barbarians and, like, just, like, criminals in general is how you would probably see them in the modern-day barbarian. Oh, these shits take a long time to make. These are not science buildings, though, so we can ignore that. Hospital is plus five food. Ooh, we're gonna need that in Jonju. Can I just buy a hospital, actually? Purchase. Where's the hospital? Oh, wait. I forgot about these shits. I have so much faith, I haven't spent any of it. <laughs> okay, so we have money. We're gonna buy a pagoda there. We're gonna buy a pagoda here. And we're gonna buy a pagoda here for a straight up. Wait, did I buy the pagoda here already, or can I only buy two per turn? Still, that's plus four happiness, culture, and faith, which is really nice. Or do I need? I don't think I need the temples for that, because I already. I don't think I have temples in other areas. Anyway, <laughs> I like that you can hear the cars now too. Actually, how the um the ambience of 
civilization changes depending on the area you're in. I think that's a really nice touch. Um, what do I need to build in order to build a hospital? Hospital is... Do I need an aqueduct or something? Shrine walls. I didn't mean to buy that, but okay. A zoo? Maybe? A shrine? I wonder why I can't build a hospital. That's so strange. Oh well. We're gonna finish the games. We're gonna finish the Olympics. Are you really just straight up asking me for 445 gold with nothing in return? And I can't even edit that? This is the second time this has happened. Like, I get that I'm baller and stuff, but my point score isn't even the highest. We're friends, at least. We're sorry this has caused a divide over us. I'm not gonna say get over it to my boy. But if he starts shooting at me because I didn't give him money, we're gonna have some problems. And then there's the Zulus. Have they broken to 500 points yet? <laughs> they still have 396 points. They're getting there. They're getting there. And points don't mean everything. I have the most science by a landslide, and I still only have 893. Points, I guess, are a good indicator of, like, are you winning by domination? But, like, otherwise, I feel like you could really just sneak by without a high score. Let's see. 53% completed, 53% completed. Let's see. We can here build. Oh, wait. Circus Maximus is pretty good. Let's see. That's a lot of happiness. And then... I don't know why I can't build a hospital in the other places. But that is... Actually, I'm going to just purchase this. I'm just going to buy this out straight up. I have the money for it. We can pretend that I spent the turns building a hospital instead of using money for it. Wait, that's sick. Wait! <laughs> You have to give me 250 of your gold. You're losing 15 gold per turn, though. Really? Really? You're trying to be a chooser here. Really? It's... The extra 20 gold? The extra 10 gold is really setting you off there. All right, buddy. You can be a little happy at the cost of half your, half your treasury. <laughs> I feel almost mean for this, but also maybe he should have managed his money better. Maybe he shouldn't be so poor. What is this guy doing here? <laughs> the year is 1872, and a Pathfinder is traveling through Copenhagen in Korea to find his way back home. I sure am. You sure am playing Venice? I've actually never played as Venice before, but with how I'm playing at, with how I'm like dealing with all these city states, I might as well goddamn be playing as Venice. <laughs> I only have four actually, not too many. I think a lot of friendship has declined. Let's see, Lhasa wants faith. Jesus, what? Oh, it must be Austria that has super high faith pro uh, progress. They can have that. See, here we have the lead with 2,115 culture. Oh wait, next turn you can get more social policies. Ooh. Wait, I didn't hit next turn yet? Or did the turn? Was it, was it just such a mundane turn that literally nothing happened? <laughs> I guess sometimes it happens. And by that, I mean nothing. Don't you still not have your capital? Yeah, she still doesn't have her capital. <laughs> Why did you thank me for that? Oh, wait, no, it was someone else who thanked me for the uh, the proposal. But, um, I mean... They're all thanking me for this. But I feel like I'm the only one contributing to the international games here. Ooh, and, and that that 30 influence to city-states is probably going to be really huge if we can get this before the uh, the World Congress. Am I really also the richest? <laughs> Man, late game Civ, once you've gotten past, like, where everyone else is, you really just coast by here. What tenant do we need? 60 units are maintenance free, plus one local happiness for that. Landmarks and great person. Oh, wait, that's really big. We have 536 science right now. 536 went up to 591. We got... 
we got 55 more science out of doing that, and probably a shit ton more of everything else, because we have... Actually, the only other great person improvement we have is this, but that's still plus four production there. We are very, very, very smart. Fact be my shield, logic be my blade. Science guide me. The Korean, the Korean science will be the most powerful one. In in this timeline, BTS was actually a boy band of like very good looking, handsome scientists that also not only were they good at performing live on stage, but they also did cool science experiments. That's what I'm saying. That's why Korean science got so big. They hit it up. They hit it. They hit something big with the kids by having the science boy band. And they'll see once our culture starts rising up. That's really when we get that plus like 600 culture. That'll be when, like, when BTS got international fame. <laughs> Alright. We're almost done with the international games as well. 83%, so I think one or two more turns should do it. Oh, wow, someone entered the industrial era. Congrats. I'm, like, three eras ahead of you. <laughs> I think I'm three eras ahead. Let's see. I'm in the modern. Oh, one era ahead. Almost two. <laughs> They're trying their best, I guess, and that's all we can ask for. Melbourne has just... Why is everyone just beating on her? Whoa! <laughs> I just realized! Damn! She's almost knocked out! <laughs> they really said, let's gang up on the one woman in this game. <laughs> They really said no girls allowed in the Civ 5 game. I'm just... I'm minding my own business. <laughs> Cheese. It really is that. Like, I'm pretty sure there's at least... It's... Copenhagen and the Shoshone are both beating on Austria. And I think there might be a three-way fight over to the left side here. Like... <laughs> it seems so extra. I... I just hope they don't try to go for me next. For their sake, honestly. Not for my sake. Me? I could throw a nuke at them. But she really is just getting kicked while she's down. Like, her last city is already going down here. Ooh, there we go. So it is. <laughs> I did, like, almost all the international games. They better have held that, that junk in Korea. Alright, give me my free social policy. Four influence per turn. The city states you have a trade. Ooh. We're gonna buy spaceship parts with gold, baby. <laughs> That's gonna be. We're pretty much never gonna spend money until we get to, uh. Wait, what the fuck? Until. Until we, um. What is it? Until we get spaceship parts, I'm pretty much never gonna spend money anymore. Except maybe to get influence on city states. For, what is it, delegates? Because right now, the World Congress, I have... Oh, I still have seven? <laughs> I still have seven whole-ass delegates here. I'm pretty sure I will win the vote next time. Let's see. I could just... This is going to end in seven turns, and this is going to end in seven turns. So, I, I might need to actually buy to make sure that I can get I can ensure that I have the most delegates so I can become the new world leader I will become the ruler of the new world Ooh, and this is gonna be a plus 25 to science everything else builds like super fast I could build the circus maximus here just to bring up happiness which I think I'm gonna do right now and then here do I have anything to buff production here we only have 400 Oh, I was going to say we only have 43 production, and then I realized we have 387 science. <laughs> that is a lot. Might as well use this to get a... Amphitheater. What's up, Hero? What's up? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're having a good day. We're currently taking over the world right now. In a very timely, very timely manner. Building the Busan Research Laboratories. <sighs> Glad you got... Is it hailing? It does look a little dark outside. <laughs> well, that's good. 
It always sucks crazy. when you, like, get caught, like, in the rain or in the hail, like, as it starts. Especially because sometimes, like, there'll, there's, like, times where it's, like, it'll start raining, like, really, really, really hard. Like, you'll just be, like, minding your business, just on a, on a leisurely commute. And then the rain just, like, falls out of the sky like someone just splashed a bucket from the heavens. And, like, whenever that happens, I'm always like, alright, rain like this never lasts long enough. It definitely ends, like, it's this is definitely going to end in five minutes. And usually I'm right, but man, it feels so bad when you, like, you wait, like, ten minutes thinking that the rain is going to let up. I hate when that happens. Like, you can't even expect it to happen. It just straight up happens. Like, you just get a shit ton of rain at once. Ooh, the... Neuschwanstein. This is... Ooh, we need castles. Three gold, two culture, and one happiness from every castle. And this gives a lot of stats already. And this is a free social policy. There's so many good things to build here. Do I have anything for production? I wonder. Each source of iron here gives one production. I don't think we have any iron in the city, though. Unfortunate. But we can... Oh, wait! I know what we can do. We build the forge here, and we can get an ironworks in that town. Ooh, Alejandro, welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're also having a good day. We can get culture here. Like, these guilds and epics don't really do much for us. Oh, wait. Extra great person generation is actually really big. <laughs> we have that in the capital. At wait! Wait, 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 wait. I just realized. They got Robert E. Lee in this motherfucker here. And a lot of guns. Is this guy about to wage war on me? Is he is is he trying to fight or is he sending someone down to uh, Ma Maria Teresa? He better not be trying to capture some of my territory. I will kick his ass unmercilessly. Like, what is all this? Let me... Let me see what we can do here. I don't think there's anything that I'm missing. And there's another place of coal here. Three tiles. One tile too far. Eh... Oh, we don't have enough coal anymore. Three total, three used. I think we built a factory everywhere, though, so that should be fine enough. But... This is worked, I think. Yeah, it's a mine. Might as well... Oh, we have the railroads. I forgot. We can start getting our workers over to the railroads. Because that'll be important. Um, let's see. Go over here. We're going to construct the top railroad and the bottom railroad. Let's see. We got the forge. Oh, did I already build the ironworks? Where did I build that then? Because that's everywhere. I'm wondering if everywhere has a forge yet. Let's see. Change production. Do we have a forge in here? We don't. How much does a forge cost? Oh! Augustly, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining the classroom. Thanks for stopping by. We're currently trying to figure out how to make our towns build a lot of things really quickly. I can spend the money here. And then choose production. Do I not have a forge in my main town? No, I definitely do. We have the forge, I believe. We have the workshop. We have... Eh? Do I not have a forge? Let's see. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> I could have sworn. Unless I can't buy the same thing in two turns at once. I'm wondering what's stopping me. Anyway. Oh, stable. We can use a stable here. I do believe we have horses in Jonju. Yes, we do. Anything to get that extra edge on production. <laughs> uh, ow, my feet. Gotta fix my feet. Sometimes you have to remember to not sit like a goblin at your desk. It's like such a reflex. I don't know why. Like every time I like tell myself, sit with good posture. Legs on the floor, breathing well. I then just immediately revert back to sit on my own legs. Cut off all blood flow circulation. Make it harder for you to do anything. Because like, if you don't have good posture, like singing gets harder, talking gets harder. Your legs start to hurt after a while. But yet, the mind is so enraptured with sitting as awfully as possible. I don't understand why. It just is. 
All right, let's construct our railroad all the live long day. Let's see. Right? It's like both amazingly easy and like it's so strangely natural to do so. We'll build a zoo here. Actually, no, we're going to build a research lab. Even this town can provide some good research for us. Even this town itself can give us some good, good science. Doesn't all have to be from the main capital. Everyone can do their part. I'm still super scared of this. Like, how long are you going to wait before you start to blow my back out? Because I feel like it's coming soon. Like, very, very, very soon. Okay, open borders ended. The thing is, if he attacks me, not only does he have my units to deal with, <laughs> he has to deal with one, two, and potentially three other city-states. Like, he's actually just going to, like, get his arms broken in five different directions. Fuck! <laughs> oh, wait, it doesn't matter. I was about to say, if we went to the new era, I would still be at the equal amount as Pocatello, and I don't like that. We're banning these. You guys make the worst choices. Why are you banning things? What are you, Smash players? No items. Fox only. Final destination. Alright, this... God, these are all very tempting. I think I'm going to build them in Jonju soon, though. One great musician appears. Yeah, we are just going to build basic stuff here. Our worker is going to start building railroads. Because that's going to give us a huge production boost. A 25% production bonus. Yeah, that is huge. Like, 25% production is nothing to sneeze at. This this place goes gets pushed way over 100 after that. So, we're going to want that. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. He moved his great general out of the way. He is no longer trying to threaten me. He thought I was going to wage war on him. He thought I was going to play his game of chicken. I've played the Pocky game before. I know how to win. I'm not going to play chicken because you get a lot closer to me. What, you play the thigh game? No, I don't care. I don't care about fighting. I'm a pacifist. I actually heard this really funny line the other day. Actually, I think my wife was showing it to me. It's, um... If... You are not capable of cruel and incredible violence. You are not a pacifist. You're just harmless. And that's me right now, because I could incite heavy amounts of violence on any nearby nation. But I choose not to. I'm kind. I'm a good man. And we are going to fund... Let's see. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to see... These are other resolutions. World Fair, International... Oh, the ISS is the next one. But we have to research satellites for that. Science funding. These guys want more arts. No, we're not reducing the amount of sciences in the world. We need more science. World ideology, world religion... It's hard to be... It's hard to be what? <laughs> I see a typo. <laughs> uh... I see. I see. Sometimes you just type things in the wrong place. And that happens. <laughs> a little odd. Yeah, I'll pretend it never happens. I'll... Can I delete these messages for you? <laughs> I don't think I can delete messages without just banning someone. <laughs> I get it, though. It happens. We'll pretend it never happened. <laughs> Alright, what do we want? Scholars? No, we don't want that. I don't think any of these are helpful to me, if I'm going to be honest. Natural wonders, world wonder. Yeah, we're going to get a world wonder. We're, pr we're doing this, and I'm pretty sure the only person who's going to care is the guy who has, like, 300 points. So... His opinion doesn't matter to me. Just like in the real world, when the smaller countries get upset, do the bigger countries care? No. Garden. The garden, museum. How do you build a forge? That's the question. I'm trying to figure out why I can't build a forge here. Oh, we need to have a mine source of iron nearby. I see. 
That explains everything. All right, caravan, where do you go? Previously was to Monaco for 10 gold. That's not too bad. Um, let's see. Can I get more than 10 gold though? I want like money. I could pressure some religion. Might as well actually. Yeah, let's do that. What else? What else? What else? None of the What? What? They passed the ban on ivory? Are you serious? I'm about to fight someone taking away some of my happiness. How dare they take away my happiness? Did someone just try to tourism me? Someone really went and vaporized himself for the good of his nation. Alright. Was defeated at the hands of your delegate. I don't expect you to support me, Mr. Shoshone. But you do have a delegation that is going to help you in the future. So you would be self-defeating if you don't accept my next one. Monaco was forced to pay tribute? Where's Monaco? You're already my ally, so I don't really need to give you more power. <laughs> Pocatello's plotting against Darius 1. That's going to happen somewhere over to the left over here, outside of my periphery. I am like a baby. I don't have object permanence, so if I can't see a fight happening in front of me, it's not actually happening. That's really just how it is. Alright, this worker can build. It takes so long for these to uh, build railroads. If, it was only, if only I had built the pyramids all those all those eras ago, maybe my workers would be better workers. That's definitely how it works. That's definitely how it is in Egypt. Workers that come from Egypt are just innately better because they built the pyramids in real life. Hmm. So what are they doing here? City states. Let's take a look here. They want religion here. They want anti kagaism to become the major religion. I don't feel like... S Actually, I guess I could summon a... Uh, what is it? A... What do you call it? I'm forgetting the word here. <laughs> yeah, checks out. A missionary, that's what it is. A missionary from a far off field. For some reason I can't explain. Yeah, I don't know. Every time I think of the word missionary, I just think of Viva La Vida. <laughs> it is probably one of few songs that I can imagine I could recall using the term missionary. Alright, let me see how much a missionary costs though. We got 2,800 faith. We're pretty faithful here. Holy shit, wait, I can just build a great scientist? <laughs> wait, that's broken. I can build them in any town too. Great scientist with faith. And then, great profit. I can straight up build, like, I have so much faith. I can just buy him automatically. Wait, that's ridiculous. I didn't realize I had that much. I didn't realize how cheap they were. They're not much more expensive than pagodas. All right, we need to feed the people. Jonju will starve without this. Okay, and then here. Wow, it's like... It's like when you're playing a game and, like, you didn't read the manual, so, like, you've been, like, making things harder for yourself the whole time. That's what I did right there. Like, <laughs> I had 3,000 faith and didn't spend any of it. I found your proposal to the 6th Congress of Mosan Kani very troubling. Surely there is a better way to reserve our differences in petty politics. No! No, there isn't. Maybe you should build more wonders, dummy. But yeah. Look at how big the Shoshone Nation is, actually. These guys are huge. Oh, Austria's just been wiped from the game, I think. Wait. Yeah, Austria... Oh, <laughs> they just wiped her out of the game! They really did just say no girls allowed. Jesus Christ. Wittenberg is up there. And then, where else wants it? Belgrade is... Where is that one? I see Lhasa. Where's Geneva? Oh, Belgrade is down there. And then Geneva is over. What the hell is Geneva? Why can't I find you on the map? Why is there no find on map button? Oh, there is. Oh, here. Duh. Okay. Oh, the downside to the Great Prophet is that they do not have good movement. 
unlike the missionary who has four movement. So we'll get a we'll get some missionaries as well. And then we will build a workshop somewhere close to us. Oh, we got Gottfried Leibniz. That's the uh isn't he the calculus dude? Isn't he the guy who fucked up calculus? Pretty sure he is. We're gonna build a science building here. And then worker. Just need two more railroads to build. We can build this over here. And then next turn. We should be able to get that railroad done. Opera house is done, and then now we can build. Yeah, we're just gonna build more caravans here. More caravans, more money. Give me more money so I can build a spaceship. I still have three more trade routes, and good god. It's alright, once I get Geneva, we'll get Geneva down. Oh wait, they're already an ally also. So I'll send the Great Prophet down to, uh, what is that, Belgrade? Belgrade will get anti kagaism They'll be the big religion there. And Lhasa wants... They just want faith. And someone is building a lot of faith, but not me. Ooh, and Hong Kong's giving us aluminum. That doesn't really do much for us, actually. Alright, Great Prophet, you go down there. Where's my missionary? Over here. Look, they caught up just easily. So they want this to be the majority religion, and god, we are very much their ally. That is not going to decay at all. That is going to take quite a while to decay. But we can build... I didn't realize we can get airports now, or airplanes. That's, that's useful now. Because <laughs> that is going to make fighting way easier if we have airplanes on these guys, and they don't have airplanes. Alright, so then we can build... They have military units in front of us, and I don't like that. Right, we're gonna just do research here. 25% of the production to research. Yeah, it's gonna be an extra 12. We can do that for now. And you, construct a railroad. Because we have the crazy railroad movement now. Build that railroad. And then, construct an academy for... That give us extra science. 729, holy moly. We were barely at 400 at the start of the game. <laughs> Excuse me, that is a huge jump. We went, we nearly doubled our science production at this point. All right, give me my 14 gold. And then the worker here. Oh, we still have extra movement. Wait. This guy is straight up just standing in my territory. He's standing in my zone. I would appreciate it if he got out of my zone. Alright, where else did we go here? Does anyone want... Oh this, oh, this is the extra caravan that I just built. Does anyone want a trade route? That's the first question. They want me to pledge protection. My allies want me to pre pledge protection. What's in it for me if you're already my allies? Anyway, let's see. 10 gold. A lot of these trade routes are 10 gold, which is not that much. I guess we could go to Monaco. Extra 10 gold is always nice. We're just pumping this out. It's plotting against me. Of course, Harold Blautooth. What the fuck does this guy think he's going to do? He's not even anywhere close to me. Oh wait, yes he is. Ooh, he's got he's got boys up in Fez near Busan. That, I, I don't think he's gonna win that war though, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think he's going to have the power to take me out. I'm sorry that I'm friends with people. Maybe you should stop being a gel- Maybe- Maybe you should patch things up with Persia. I think there's just some things that you got to work out on your own. Alright, we're in the 1900s now. We are in the 20th century, everyone. And we got another great scientist, baby! Ooh, big science research. Let's go right over. Let's put it in the forest over here. And then my worker can go over here, build a railroad. And what am I supposed to work on now at this point? <laughs> my workers are just kind of chilling. And I'm going to keep them there because if I, if war gets declared on me, I will need units to defend the home turf. We're just going to get military men and Gatling guns. Oh, wait, artillery? 
three tile away artillery, making me feel like I'm playing Advanced Wars or something. Has to set up. He can't move and attack, just like in Advanced Wars. All right, the Great Prophet can go this way. And we need to go down to, not Lhasa, to Belgrade. Quite a, quite a hike. And they want us to generate a Great Rider, but that's not happening. We don't write. Writing? Writing isn't STEM. STEM is the most important top, but STEM is the most important subject. We're not, we're not just gonna just do things as like the liberal arts. <laughs> Some STEM people really are just like that. <clears throat> I remember when I was, um, when I was getting my certification to become a teacher, I do recall them saying that they had to introduce more writing-based assignments into the curriculum because a lot of people that were like getting through the math program were like the worst writers and how are you supposed to write research papers if your writing is illegible <laughs> all right so we're gonna move you <laughs> you to morocco i trust you spy this guy's schmoozing this guy's counterintelligence in Seoul. This guy's monitoring activity. No text to steal in Mosong Kani. Yeah, return to espionage. We're gonna move him to. We're gonna move him to Busan. I feel like people are gonna try to steal stuff in Busan. So we'll do that. And then. Pre offer platform, sea routes, stadium, hotel. These are all useful things. Let's see what we can get to next. We have extra science yield from our academies, which is huge. But... Oh, wait. We've just... <gasps> uranium's been revealed. we got to find if we have any uranium near us. That's going to be huge. Desert and not contain a nuclear plant. So let's see. Medical lab. Ooh, medical lab is also really important for growth. So we're going to we're gonna study penicillin. And that also gives us a trade route for more money. Ooh, that rain is going down hard. <laughs> We're going to make this guy sleep. This missionary is going to go over here. He is going to spread his religion. Am I the majority yet? Am I am I am I am I am I cool yet? Do people do people hate fire emblem games made by Shozo Kaga yet? <laughs> That's plus 18 science. Just at the click of a button. And we got extra production for that. We're at 793, almost at 800 per turn. Let's change our production, though. I think there's some new things we can do here. <sighs> we are not building the Manhattan Project. I am not picking violence today. We are going to, however, build more caravans. We still have two trade routes that we can build, so we want those trade routes. We're going to need those trade routes. <laughs> Fuck no, you're not getting my gems, you greedy. <laughs> I don't think so. However, give me your silk. And I will give you... I'll give you f five horses and two iron. Wait, he really, he really took that one? Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's a particularly great deal because I don't use iron or horses at this point. But, uh... Yeah, that's no, fine. No, okay. That's more than fine. You have a luxury resource. Five gold per turn? No, that's got to be like ten gold per turn, buddy. Okay. It's got to be seven gold per turn, buddy. Okay. Six gold per turn. My haggling is so bad. I okay. hate these guys. These guys are so greedy. You're not getting my furs then, buddy. You think you, think you can just get my furs for five gold per turn? You just cheapskate. Furs are a luxury commodity. You're not just gonna get that out of me for for pennies. All right. Fuck! How did he get nine delegates? Two from being the current host. I forgot that you get some for being the current host. Oh god damn it! That's so sad. Everyone's gonna vote themselves, and I can't vote for myself enough. I should have taken over more people. Alright. Busan, you're gonna build now an infantry. I don't think we have any production buildings to build. <gasps> Wait. 
World Wonders, Natural Wonders, and Improvements is added to the tourism output of the city. We don't have anything like that in here yet. 33 culture in the city. That's not big, actually. We have 10 culture in the city. This is a very unrefined. Busan is not very cultured. <laughs> um, this, though. We have 35 culture here, which is not huge, but it's still something. That gives us big tourism. We can build that, and then the worker goes to sleep. And we have mad, mad, mad production now. We're going to use this one actually to feed. And actually, we don't need the food. We don't need the food. We're going to get some more money. 12 gold per turn from Graz. <sighs> and then, ooh, an antiquity site. That doesn't do anything for us, but it is nice. Are we the majority of religion here yet? Seven. Seven. Oh, we need one more missionary. We're going to buy them then. It doesn't take too long for the missionaries to get there. So we'll do that. And then we can. I think Wittenberg also wanted it. Yeah, we're going to buy one over here. Going to buy a great profit. And now I have 176 faith. Uh, not a lot. But it's better than nothing. We have the gem mine here. This is going fine enough. If, he, if he's going to try to fight, I have at least two units that can kill something. And levels to get. Korea may be small, but we are strong. Oh, wait, I didn't even check for any uranium. It's up in Wittenberg? Fuck. And there's no uranium near us. That is... Actually, I'm indifferent to that. I'm not trying to nuke anyone. I've only constructed 8 wonders, huh? Pocatello has 12. I did not realize that that was that big. Who let him get all those wonders? I feel like I didn't... I feel like I haven't missed out on any wonders that I wanted to get, I guess is the thing. So I didn't even realize that I was missing out on so much. I guess he's gotten like all the... When did I get an Inquisitor? When did I buy this? Uh... Sorry, that's not what I wanted. I wanted it. I wanted a, uh, a missionary. I, I must have clicked on the wrong thing. Sometimes you just misclick, I guess. All right, let's see. Wittenberg will be mine again. Yeah, sure. Open borders. He keeps on putting things near me that I'm pretty sure aren't going to do anything. Yeah, you. We have open borders, and I'm pretty sure he's going to just stab me in the foot. Like, he's actually just going to just... He's just gonna, like, step on me. Or he's gonna try to, at least. Oh. Well, I don't think that he's gonna try and declare war on me when he's already trying to declare war on... other places. Oh, wait! I existed. <laughs> I simply just existed and my religion spread. I didn't even need to use a great prophet. That's a little disappointing, but it's alright. Wait, do we have the ability to embark? Yes. That's going to make getting to Belgrade a little bit easier. All right, and then here. What do I want for this? I think we just go to ideology. Let's see. Plus three gold from all your trade routes following this. One happiness for local wonders. Uh, I guess that's fine enough. 35. Yeah, we get seven more happiness. That's pretty solid, actually. That's more than just good enough. That's really nice. <laughs> okay. Wow. I get a lot of gold from these trade routes. What is this? We get... Pressure. Or they get 13 pressure. We're gonna go to Marrakech. Give them some... Tell them the good word against uh, Shozo Kaga. <laughs> and let's see. We could build the Cristo de Dentor, the Eiffel Tower. That The Eiffel Tower doesn't do much for us. Culture cost of adopting new policies going down is really good. So we'll do that. Jonju is like the place to have wonders now. Even though it kind of sucks because... Oh no, a scientific wonder. Never mind, we're good. Because none of those are scientific wonders, so they're not going to give us extra science in the first place. Um... 
I guess I'll just make Wittenberg super follow me. That seems like a good enough idea. And then hopefully they'll build this uranium here. They'll work that uranium tile and give me the uranium. And then... Wait, I can actually mess with this. Seven gold per turn and seven gold. That's like 26 turns of seven gold, which is not really anything, but it is something. <laughs> it's good enough. You dumb motherfucker. You're asking me for all these things when I have so much more science than you? Get the hell out of here. Why is everyone taking upon order instead of freedom? Does not does not a single country here want to take eat some freedom fries? What the fuck? There's a barbarian encampment in the year 1912? That is a strange year for there to be barbarian encampments, if I'm going to be honest. And it's not even that far from me. I'm about to send an infantryman over there. And a cavalier. Horseman, you're going to go over here. Why is there a barbarian encampment in this, the year of our lord, 1912 AD? That just does not make sense. That's rather nonsensical, if you ask me. Let's just spread the religion. Get some more money out of that. We have completely equipped them in research. 871, baby. Let's see. We're going to get a hotel in one turn. Seven turns for the Cristo Redentor. And then one turn for an infantryman. Next turn, we're going to get some good stuff here. Why did he declare war on Monaco? Wait, those are my homies. I, I don't want to, like, deal with this, though. I could gift them units, I guess. But also, it looks like Monaco actually has this under control. They got, like, mad Gatling guns and infantrymen. That's a strange one. They're coming through my territory to do this, too? This seems a little excessive. It's like... It's like someone coming to your house to beat up your little brother or something. You know, like, you should do something about that. What? My money! I am simply just trying to have a good time here. And someone just plundering my trade route? Okay, that's a little rude. That's a little unkind. Yeah, this looks like they're having a pretty even fight here. I think they're fine. I could uh, let it happen for a little bit longer. Give me my social policy. We can. One happiness from every watermill, hospital, and medical lab. Wait, dissidents? Consider this to be how much people of this it. Public is generating foreign happiness, which is greater of one happiness per city. Well, maybe you guys should want to be free. I think, I think freedom's pretty nifty. You guys want to be chained up, all made to do what you want to do. You guys want a dictatorship, which is weird because I don't know what that sounds. It doesn't sound that great. But I guess we can build a broadcast tower here. No, 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 no. We need more happiness. We need to rush that next golden age. And then we need to... We can get a stadium here for more happiness. We have 1,600 gold right now. All right, infantryman, you go over here. Horseman, you go over here. That four move. God, the difference between four movement and two movement in this game is huge. Like it is just like astronomically. Like the side, the space you can cover is just ridiculous. Four movement units are wild. And I think some of the late game units also have like six movement, which is even more ridiculous. Like. Things that can move that much. It's like you just get hit and then they just run away from you and you can't even do anything. Because a lot of cavalry units are allowed to attack and then move after attacking. Just like Fire Emblem, actually. <laughs> now, the unfortunate part of this is that I actually have to watch all these all these battles in Shu because these guys are my quote-unquote allies. But, like, I don't really... Feel like watching this all happen. I wish I had like the spacebar button on. Oh wait, Monaco's kind of getting bullied over here. I don't think I need to help them though. 
I feel like what's gonna happen is that Denmark is gonna take Monaco, and then Monaco is gonna be used as the uh, the battlefront for uh, them trying to take over Korea. And we'll cross that bridge when we get there, I think. Right now, it seems like they're still struggling to take out all of Monaco's units. There we go. Take them out. Kill them all. Kill them all. Wow, that horse unit? This horse here is actually, like, super tanky. Also, Monaco seems really bad at fighting. If I'm going to be honest, like, they're not doing a very good job of killing things. Like, this, this guy is almost dead, but he's going to get away with some HP and return with a vengeance. And I've discovered penicillin. So that's also pretty neat. Alright, Belgrade. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot that being on a boat gives you, like, insane movement as well. You get four movement on a boat, so sometimes you want to, like... <laughs> you want to set up your, uh... Your pathing so that... You got into a boat with the maximum amount of movement and try to make sure that you can get to wherever you're getting in a way that optimizes your movement because being able to take advantage of four turn or four space movement is just so huge. Let's see. Must be built on a desert. On or next to a desert. What fucking deserts are there? <laughs> this is all plains. We're all on the plains of Sakai. Hmm. So now, I guess, nuclear plant would be super nice to have, if only for the fact that I don't have any uranium. Uh, and there's no way to get uranium. There's a recycling center, but nothing really needs aluminum that I can't already make, or haven't already made. Actually, what does need aluminum? Wait, Apollo program. That's important. Let me just see, though. Because we get aluminum over here, and a hydro plant, which we already built. And I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that uses aluminum in the game, so, uh, not a very useful thing. Let's see, the Great Firewall. We're gonna go to satellites. We're gonna rush this, so we can start progress on, uh, spaceship parts. And that'll start us leading into our victory. And now we can see the war here. Oh, uh, the Danish warriors are going in full pursuit. The Gatling gun's looking low. Then these, these, are these all just ski infantry? God, imagine, imagine you're fighting a war and just some schmucks like on skis with like guns strapped to their back. They just like l unload their shotgun at you, like drive by with skis. Like... <laughs> They're just all sliding down on you, on skis. Like, I feel like that's even more threatening than horses. Like, someone, like, on a horse sniping you with a gun. But, like, just dudes on skis, just, like, with shotguns, like, they just run into you point blank, and, like, they don't even get blown back by their shotgun because they're so ripped from being skiers. Now, Monica, will you be able to kill any of these enemy units? God, these guys are very bad at fighting. They have not killed a single... They have not killed a single one of the Danish units yet. <laughs> That's a little embarrassing. But their city hasn't been hit yet, at the very least. So you know what? Props for that, at the very least. Anyway. Entries out of moves. Alright. Go get them! What does the knight promote into? Oh, a cavalry. I see. Did we kill them? I think my game is, like, lagging. Oh, <laughs> there we go. 74 damage. Solid damage. And we can heal as well. The fact that they can heal at the same time is ridiculous. They can attack, move backwards, and then heal themselves, which is a lot of actions for one thing to do. Oh, Monica lost the furs. Oh, shit. My happiness. Eh, it's alright. Next turn's a golden age regardless. That means our science and culture and gold and everything. We're going to be smooth sailing to the victory screen here. Monaco, just don't die. 
Because the moment Monaco falls is the moment that I actually have to start worrying about Denmark trying to attack me. And I don't want to have to think about making an army to deal with Denmark. I'll win, it would just be very tedious. We're already on turn 229. That's about 100 more turns to win by not points. Actually, I don't win if it goes to points. I actually lose because Ethiopia and the Shoshon are like huge right now. But I think we can make it in 100 turns. We have money. We have 1,843 gold. We should at least be able to buy one of the spaceship parts with that. Alright, let's see. And John going to get bigger. We have the Golden Age, so that means we have production, gold, and culture. Very good, very good, very good. Alright, you. Over here. Minor defeat. We lose to these barbarians? We lose to these schmucks? I, I wonder if, like, the gunmen do more, like, are effective against cavalry. No, it's just fortified, and I, they're just, <laughs> they just have guns, I guess. That makes sense. Having guns does make you pretty strong compared to guys on horses. Like, that is not a winning fight, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> For the most part, I don't think cavalry wins against gun. But I have infantry, so, like, the infantry will win against riflemen. We got... Look at this. Look, these guys with their rifles think they can take on fully trained infantrymen with the hard hats and the, the camo and the fatigues. They think they can defeat trained U.S. Navy SEALs or Korean Navy SEALs. Think again. All right, what's happening here? I need to see this turn play out. Looks like they're severely outnumbered. This is this is looking like me playing Advanced Wars yesterday. <laughs> It's like the situation that I was in. Oh, but they got a great general! Patton, the great Monaco great general. That means their fighting spirit will be increased tenfold. How is this guy still alive? How is this guy not dead? They just refuse to die. Yo, wait. Yo, wait, wait. My knight's chucking. <laughs> that looks so funny. Oh, there we go. Get the fuck out of here. You think you can win against against infantrymen? Gunmen? Get the... That shit. To Morocco? There you go. You're welcome. You better not try to slap me. Alright, so now... Belgrade is... Not my allies. But what else do we need from them? What else could we do for them? Gold gifts are temporarily more effective. Let's see how much we need. 24 to surpass them. Okay. <laughs> we are now allies. And then in Busan, we can build a medical lab. Yeah, I guess medical lab would make the most sense. Do we have a hydro plant here? Yeah, we do. Okay. All right, Monaco. Oh, you know what? The enemies keep on healing because they keep on pillaging. That's what it is. They keep on pillaging their tile improvements. That feels real bad. Holy jeez. Alright, Monaco. You're getting close. What the? What is... Oh, that's barbarians. I was about to say. <laughs> I was like, what's all these barbarians doing out here? What's what are these cannons getting fired? I realize now. They were... They certainly did show them who the fuck was boss. <laughs> like, imagine you're just a barbarian with, like, just axes, and these dudes walk up to you with, like, Gatling guns and cannons. Like, what do you do at that point? Like, I feel like at that point, you're you're not supposed to be being a barbarian. I feel like you just ended up in the wrong time period. Oh, cool, we got marble. And we got... <gasps> What's this? Another great scientist? How much faster can we get here? Let's see. Jesus. Soul alone gives a solid... Wait. Soul alone gives 500 science. That town alone gives more science than I started with at the start of the stream. <laughs> okay. Great profit. Let's see. Nowhere else really needs more religion. This place has nine followers. I feel like it would be a waste to... uh. Try and force that. Uh, 
We're just gonna do it because I don't feel like moving him anywhere else. <laughs> That's fine enough. All right. Mikhail Lomonosov. You are gonna go over here. And we can build a nice academy tile to the left over there. Nice, nice academy tile. Hell no! What, four gold per turn? Wait. You're giving me eight gold per turn for that. Wait, fuck! I gave away marble! <laughs> Wait, but I'm getting marble anyway, so that's fine. That doesn't actually affect me. Secret marble! I'm getting marble from, what is it? Holy shit! <laughs> All right, I don't think they're taking this over with that great general in the center, though. That great general's giving too much power. All right, Valletta has played from Ahmad Al Mansur. They fought, but they didn't kill a unit. These guys just refused to kill anyone. Wait, no, this, these guys died. They died. I was about to say, like, god damn. The cost of adopting new policies has dropped, so we can get more policies. But yeah, Belgrade gave us marbles, so that's that's fine enough. Marble. <laughs> Imagine that, that just marbles was a uh, a special resource, just the funny little balls that you play with as a little kid. Yes, this rare, rare, unreplicatable marble is our prized possession. This luxury resource. Alright, this is 17 culture. I mean... I don't really think I need anything with uh, culture. I don't think we're. I don't think culture victory is the way to go. Oh, but this gives six gold, so we're gonna get the Neuwachstein, and we can just put our guys back up here. Korean knight. All right, and that is our religion there, Mikhail Lomnosov. Go over here, and we're gonna get a, I assume, 18, yeah, 18 science, 18 science tile again. As if we didn't have enough science. Seven. Eight. There we go. Give me eight gold. I need, I need more money. Did you adopt freedom yet? God damn, I hate these guys. No one wants my ideology. They're all building everything that isn't freedom. And that's just inconvenient. Oh god, we lost silver. It's fine, I already had silver. I'm pretty sure I had silver at least. Yeah, I have silver. No happiness is lost there. He built Broadway? They got Broadway in Persia now? That's another one. It's like it's just so silly. Like Broadway being a wonder. I guess when you when you've been there and you've been so close to it, it seems less wondrous to you. Like, out of all, like, the wonders in the game, Broadway just seems like a place to me. <laughs> Holy shit. I got a Marine. That guy is actually going to slap the shit out of pretty much anything that he walks close to. I'm pretty sure that one-shots most of what Harold has right now. The Islamic Republic of Broadway. Welcome, welcome Volter Martial. I hope, I hope you're having a good one right now. I hope you're enjoying the Korean dominance. Because currently, we may not be the strongest military, but our science is unparalleled. What do we have here? Cultural heritage sites. Yay, six delegates from one sieve. World ideology. Yeah, one, two, three. I have nine delegates. I'm swimming in them. I am so popular. Everyone likes, everyone likes Korea. It's just a fact. Radar, airport, airless tour from the city, 50% of the culture from World Wonders is added to tourism. Yeah, that's going to be useful. Monaco, have you built anything yet? Have you built any more, like, combat units to help bail you out of this? I don't think I can help you, really. Because then I'm going to get attacked, and I don't want that to happen. Okay. They actually killed someone! They actually killed some dudes! Denmark is not gonna take this. It's gonna take Denmark quite a while. Let's see what passed. Heritage sites pass and order fails. Very good. Alright, what am I proposing now? 
World ideology. If I were... <laughs> Everyone would be angry if I proposed that freedom be the ideology of the world. Okay, cool. Everyone does not like me. Let's see. Natural wonder. World religion. World religion. <laughs> Everyone would be really mad at me for this one. Persia would be grateful. Protestantism would be really funny because <laughs> endorse the Antichrist. <laughs> what does this do? Religion spreads twenty five percent faster, and Holy City receives fifty percent tourism. I'm just gonna do this for the fuck of it. <laughs> endorsing, endorsing the hatred of Shozo Kaga in his video games. One of these days, I'll finish Thrasia seven seven six. Okay, so this. We really have no culture buildings here. From World Wonders, Natural Wonders. Do I have wonders in this town, actually? I don't think there's any wonders here. No, there is not. <laughs> there would be no point in building the hotel, then. Natural Wonders and... Yeah, because it's not from buildings, so it's not really worth anything. We can do research, though. 906 per turn, baby! We hit the 900s! We're almost in 1000s! Oh, so five. That's a game you haven't seen in a while. What's up, Neo Pessimist? Hope you're having a good one. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> yeah, it's um, I haven't played this in a while either. Aside from like last week when I started this playthrough, it's it's always a fun strategy game to go back to though for me. I couldn't get into the other Civ games. Why are you so mad at me? I didn't. I literally didn't do anything to you. I just said, hey, maybe we should all say no to, to Kaga. And you're just gonna denounce me? I, you, you, you wanted the delegation that gave you the wonders, the buff from the wonders, and now you're just gonna be mad. These leaders, man, these leaders just don't know what they want. What they want is to be mean to me. They just want to bully me. For what's your favorite? Because you could give Gandhi. <laughs> I remember like there was a whole thing about how like Gandhi being a. Uh, Hyper aggressive actually like was a bug from the first game that they just kept in every other game. <laughs> Cause I think it was what it was was that um wasn't Gandhi's like peace rating supposed to be a zero, but something messed up in the code so that it like rolled back into 255, which made him the most aggressive AI in the game. <laughs> I love that. It was only New Cappy, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see. It was just that option. Just I've heard so many stories of people being like, yeah, I just got nuked by Gandhi. <laughs> it's just such a silly thing to happen. All right, we got radar. So next turn, next turn we get radar, and then we should get into satellites after that. You love the game, but your old computer couldn't handle it. Yeah, honestly, it gets, it gets so heavy to run. Like once, like once you see all the other civs and they start having their big turns, like they, like all the enemies start building up their armies. It, it does take a lot for computers to, like, run the game. Where <laughs> right, we got Persia? Let's see. Shut up! You like my last proposal? Why do you like- Why don't you like this one? So picky, these- These congressmen. Wittenberg wants Monaco- Do you see what's happening to Monaco right now? Is this not enough bullying to you? <laughs> They literally lost their entire military to Denmark, and they're saying, yeah, please bully Monaco some more. <laughs> the value rollback was to nine. Oh, since a storing a variable like that would cost... Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah, I remember it was some kind of weird rolling back to variables that ended up making him the most new cappy instead of the least. I think those kind of mistakes are, like, such funny little accidents that, like, just... Become literal memes, honestly. Because, <laughs> like, you, everyone knows that, like, Gandhi's supposed to be peaceful, but then they just turned him into a new cappy man. Only in Civ. <sighs> Alright, I don't like this again. He has two workers. I don't know what the workers are doing. It, do it seems like he's... Okay, they made peace. They made peace. Good. Monaco held up pretty well. I don't know what quest they had, but we're still allies, right? We're still cool. We were still 189 out of 60. My friendship didn't drop with them, even though I didn't help them out at all. All right. We got a great engineer in Busan. 
More like bussin'. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's build a manufactory for a lot of science and production. And let's see. Now that we have this, 50% of the culture from world wonders, natural wonders, and improvements. Uh, I might as well do this, right? Hotel. Hotel and airport, yeah. Wait, this that only does apply to tourism, though. And I'm not really trying to aim for tourism, and I don't need the tourism. Let's go for happiness, actually. And then here, I need more science. Hermitage. That gives happiness, I guess. Grand Temple gives a lot of faith. Um, world wonders, natural wonders. Yeah, this sh I mean... I don't really think I get anything out of getting tourism, so I feel like it would just be a waste. Oh, we can build, um, we can build caravans. That's what it is. We'll do caravans. It was built so fast anyway. Is he trying to muscle it on my territory? Do I have to promote all my units just to scare him off? I will promote all my riflemen to space marines. And he will regret every choice that he's made. What, these... Norwegian ski infantry are probably have like what like 50 50 strength maybe 40 strength no longer friends with Lhasa well, that's sad I lost a friend where did I go wrong I lost a friend somewhere along the bitter descent it does not sound like he's saying bitter descent unless you're like listening really closely that's also I don't know if I'd say a good song, but it's a song I think about a lot. Maybe because uh, maybe because it reminds me of Scrubs, that one episode where they just they offhandedly mentioned the song as a joke and then they put it in the most tear-jerking like medical drama scene of all time. They had no right to do that. Let me see what we can do here. Do we have any improvements? Yes. Rifleman. What do swordsmen? In <laughs> long swordman. You promote to a long swordman. And you promote to a Lancer. Yes, we're promoting everyone. We still have 2k gold, which is very good. We can get another care. We have one more caravan that we can build. And then here, we built our zoo. So we can now build a... I guess a medical lab for food progress. Economy tactic, delete your unit. <laughs> Just delete your units to preserve your economy. God, it's so hard early game, especially when, like, you only get, like, like single to barely double-digit money per turn. Like, sometimes you really do gotta just delete your army. <laughs> Thankfully, I can have enough of an army promoted and still be in triple-digit money. That's good. Again with these barbarian encampments. Why are you here? Do I really have to send these lancers over to your ass? <laughs> I actually think I do have to. Huh. Is he working on tourism? 46 tourism. That's like not great. <laughs> Alright. So then we can send the long swordman. Wait. This is... Musketman. Rifleman. Great war infantry. The Korean marines are going to travel downwards to take out this rifleman. And the cavalry... We'll just protect, and then caravan goes to Busan doesn't need food. We have... What else is there? What else is there? Is 10 gold really the most I can get? 11 gold. That's fine enough. We can promote this to a cavalry. It's out of moves. I hate that promotion takes up, makes it so that you can't build. Or you can't move again. <laughs> Darius is building hotels! Oh no! He's building hotels! Sneak attack for another civilization. Who is Harold Bluetooth attacking now? Because if it's not saying that he's going to attack me, is he going to go for the Shoshone? I'm like surprised that despite being his neighbor, he has not fucked with me once. Like he's somehow been that respectful. Just, yeah, we're not going to fuck with you. You can, you can live. We're going to fight this guy on the other side of the continent. But he is motioning around me. I have all my units promoted. So if he does think that he can fight, he's sorely mistaken. 
I didn't even see how strong his infantry are. I keep on forgetting to click them. Let's see. Because these guys have 24 strength, the musket men, which is not very tough, not very high at all. But the ski infantry, I assume it's probably in like the 30s or 40s for strength. Oh no, they don't like me anymore. It's alright. We'll just blow these guys up. Let's see. The infantry has... I can't see, actually. Ugh. I wish I could see how much the ski infantry has. I can't imagine them being particularly strong, though. Are we loose to this? Just barely. Again, using horses to fight gunners, I guess, is not the best idea, but it could be worse. We could have worse things. We could have, like, literal axemen. <sighs> Ooh, we have a new policy we can adopt. Gain four more influence per turn at standard speed with city states you have a trade rep with. Eh. One culture from each great work. We don't have great works. And no one's following freedom. I feel like I'm getting screwed out of so many bonuses. Let's see what we can get here. What else can we adopt? Does anything give culture here? No. Nothing good, at least. 50% excess happiness. Ooh, that does give more culture, though. But actually, if I'm if I'm trying to figure out what to use my culture on, I, I guess I don't really need to use culture on anything. <laughs> more influence, tourism. I mean, I guess this is useful, but we're, we'll do this. What? Ooh, I clicked out of that. Eh, it could be worse. Let's see. A unit needs orders. Riflemen. We'll promote these guys all to riflemen. We have cavalry here. What else can promote? Great War Infantry to Infantry. There we go. 70 strength, man. And then who else needs orders? Oh, wait. I can just do this thing. <sighs> Cavaliers are busted. They can literally attack a guy and then walk backwards so that they can't get attacked on the next turn. That's only a little rude. Alright, let's see... Lhasa. Let's be friends. Let's be friends again. Now that we have a trade route, you won't hate me anymore, right? We'll be friends again. Our 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 influence will go up past 30. And and we can... You'll be green instead of gray. How many places am I allies with still? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... And then there's one, two, three. There's only three city-states that I'm not friends with. So I th I'd like to think I'm pretty popular. I think Korea is hip with, the hip with everyone. Holy moly, that Gatling gun is just getting pincered. Just bribe them to like you. That's how I make friends. That's actually how I won. Um, I was playing... I've only ever completed one PvP game of Civ. And that's actually how I won the game. Was We got to the uh, World Congress to determine the world leader. And I just, <laughs> the turn before World Congress, I bribed every city-state with, and they didn't have enough money to unbribe them. And then I just won by voting. It was a democ, it was democratic. Alright, decisive victory. I'll have you know I have over 300 confirmed kills in the U.S. Navy. Corruption! That is how one becomes a world leader. What's a little world power without a little bit of corruption? And here, let's see. We can get the Opera House for more culture, I suppose. I guess that's what we go for. And then here, Great War Infantry. This does take a lot of gold, though. 135. I think we can keep them as Great War Infantry. I think that's good enough. And then we can have this guy stay alert. No, he's already alerted. Yeah, these guys are good. Okay. Ooh, and then we can start building the Apollo project next. Democratic process shouldn't be stopped by fu <laughs> by futilities like corruption. Obvi honestly, corruption is just part of the game. Persia has denounced the show shown. Uh oh. <sighs> Let's see. Another. Where are all these barbarians coming from? It's literally 1944. 
What barbarians are there to exist? I actually don't understand. A good rule for rocket Oh, we can build the Apollo project now. Ooh. That's gonna be good. Alright, let's Warlord China. <laughs> Marines. The few, the proud, the Marines. Give me that. And we cleared the encampment, so more friends, more friends. Valletta just wants culture. Uh, the person in the lead has 48 more culture than me. Get the hell out of here. And they want me to build Petra, but I don't have a desert. <laughs> I guess that... I guess I don't get that then. Alright, we're just going to keep these guys alert. The Lancer is going to go over here and to heal an enemy ter or in friendly territory. And then we can build... I don't think a Hermitage is worth... Oh, Apollo Pro... Pro Apollo program. We need this. And then... Let's see. You can build... Oh, we don't need the hotel. Faith is fine, actually. We get more great scientists that way. Ooh, and we can promote still. We'll go for open terrain fighting. What? Looks like he's trying to muscle in on my territory still. But I have four infantrymen to his ski infantry. I might as well while he's doing this. Let's see. Ski. Norwegian ski infantry. Yeah, he has 34 combat on these guys. So I don't think that they're going to win any kind of fight against my infantry. My 74 power or 60 power infantry units. The numbers don't lie. And they spell disaster for you at World War Three. Oh, and this guy also got a promotion. So we're going to increase our open terrain fighting, because that's pretty much everywhere near me. And I'm only worried about what's right in front of me. Okay, so then Hermitage costs one turn. 50% culture in this city. That's 42 culture. Soul has 58 culture. Uh, I suppose we build it here. But we're building the Apollo project here. 40 culture still isn't bad, actually. So we're just going to produce a Hermitage in this turn. Jonju is like the cat jack of all trades of the towns. What can you build now? Do you have anything good to build? Let's see, broadcast tower gives extra culture, I guess. Might as well just build that. Extra culture can't hurt. God, it's just this has been the entire game. This this has been the entirety of like the stream and like the second half of last stream just worrying that this guy's going to try to run me over. Waiting for it to happen, and it never happening, because he's trying to fight other people. <laughs> it's like, I'm his friendly next-door neighbor, and he has no problems with me, but I have to, like, worry, because every time he leaves his house, he leaves with, like, five guns and, like, a sword strapped to his back. And it'll be the start of the next work week, and I'm just gonna be- I'll see him, like, leaving the house, and I'm just gonna be like, Mondays, am I right? That's basically what it is. Alright, and then here... I don't think anything. We just focus on getting more culture. We'll focus on getting more culture. I don't know what that is, so it's not important to me. I think it's one of the uh I think it's one of the ideology buildings, so you can have that one for free. We can give that one to you. I don't need it. All right, what else is there? God, I'm so mad. My production is actually like super hindered because I can't can't get any oil. That's like the biggest thing for me, is that I'm so stalled because of the lack of in the lack of resources. I can't get any oil or uranium because uranium is up at Wittenberg. They haven't mined that yet. I hate how rare it is to find to find those resources, and Hong Kong has uranium down there as well. It's so sparse. Take their cities. Colonize your neighbor. Take their cities. I'm not gonna hit... I'm not gonna do my boy Wittenberg like that. That'd be so rude. You just go to your friend's house and then take their house. My house now. I mean, it does sound fun to do, actually. To just jack your friend's house. I I'm not gonna lie. That does sound very entertaining. 
Military occupation. Yeah, we don't have what is it? Ugh. I forget which I forget which amendment it was because I'm not a very good citizen. The one that prevents court the quartering act. We cannot we cannot just let these military men be residing in our private spaces. <laughs> It's the Third Amendment? Huh. Why did I think it was later? I knew it was in the first ten, but I forgot which one it was. It's like one of those things, you know that it's a thing that exists, but you forgot what the order was. Now I don't want to have to like quiz myself. Yeah, first is freedom of speech. Freedom like to protest and all that stuff. And the right to bear arms. Fourth Amendment is... I don't remember what the Fourth Amendment is. I believe the fifth is the right to remain silent. Anything you can say can or will and will be used against you. Oh, they're starving. Uh, they should try not starving, I think, actually. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. Jonju has only been able to survive because we've been sending them food. <laughs> it's so bad. This town is so, Im so like, in poverty. When it comes, or, it's like, there's no food here. It has everything good, but it relies on the rest of the cities to give it food. <laughs> Which is stressful. Imagine in, like, war, when the trade routes get cut off. These guys just starve to death slowly. Oh, right. That's the search and seizure. I recall now. I recall now. I remember the first five. I don't remember six through ten. <laughs> uh, that is why I am the math teacher and Wisteria is the history teacher. She's the one who could probably recite the rest of the, the rest of the amendments. Yeah, that one. That one I think everyone knows. Like I plead the fifth. All right, enact world religion. We're putting it all in, baby. Praise, not Kaka. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see how the World Congress goes. Holy shit! Wait, he's like he's stancing up on me actually. Oh, due process. Right, 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 right. Let's see. There are a lot of cannons here. I'm a little scared. Do I have to start building units now? Are they catching on to the fact that I'm going to win the space race? Oh, okay. So then 5 and 6 and 7. It's all like court stuff. Due process, right to a jury. Right to not <laughs> lawfully incriminate yourself. Alright. Natural wonder fa- When? Whoa! Oh, cool. We found all the wonders. Cruel- Ah, right. Cruel and unusual punishment. Oh, my game is exploding now because it just- Because I got satellites, so I just revealed the entire world. And here you can see that the world is actually all Ellaby. Ellaby from Fire Emblem 7. We got the Nevada Desert here. We got the Western Isles. I think it's really neat. I think this was pretty well made. We got the Lycian League over here and Neutruria. We got like Ilia up in the top and Burn down here. I think it was really nicely made. It just completely blew up my computer for a second though. <laughs> we found every single one of the natural wonders all at once. Where are they actually? King Solomon's mine is in the Vatican. And then we have Lake Victoria. How many? I feel like they all spawned, like, down the bottom. Antiquity site, we have... There's nothing here, just a lot of crabs. <laughs> Ninth is anything that we didn't say. Where are the other ones? There's that over there. Oh, wait, I can just click it. I can just click... Oh, I can't. <laughs> Oops. Are those the only two wonders? No, there's also Rock of Gibraltar. There is. God, I didn't spawn near any, any of the things there. What am I proposing now? International Space Station. There we go. Easy. Give me my spaceship parts. And then, atomic bomb. Don't need an atomic bomb yet. So we have one, we need nanotechnology, and we need advanced ballistics. That should take pretty quick. That's 13 turns, and the nanotech should be... A 
quite a bit. Four, five, six, that's 15, 27, 22, and that's going to be 30 turns. 30 turns plus 15 turns, or 30 turns plus 13 turns is 43 turns. So we should be able to get to that before the end of the game. We have a pretty clear through line here. Why do they all want me to build a Manhattan Project? I don't even have uranium. Hubble Space Telescope. Ooh, two free rate scientists appear near the city where the Wonder was built. Provides a free spaceship factory in the city which it is built. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, Jonju's going to get this. And we're going to use both those great scientists to get free technologies. Ooh, we're going to... We're going to speed run the end of this. God, imagine speed running a science victory. God, that would take forever. All right, here. What is it? Um, I don't want to get more units because that's going to that's just going to waste uh gold. We're just going to build up our science. We are at 1k science production right now. Jesus. 102 and then this caravan. Let's see. Who gives the most money? There we go. Ooh, and we have 115 per turn. The Apollo project's almost ready. He's straight up just walking into my territory. I am going to kick his ass. He's going to break every single one of my academies and, like, science research labs. Oh, you better watch out. Better watch out. Better watch out. Better watch out. <laughs> I can't believe it's already almost Christmas time. It's November 13th. We are over a month away from Christmas time. I can't believe it's almost Christmas. Alright. Diplomatic victory is now possible. She's host. Holy shit! <laughs> I have 16 delegates! Boom! Korea wins! Korea wins again! All right, and then here, I don't understand why I get so much gold from Morocco. I'm fine with it, though. That plus 20 is super nice. God, I'm not ready to, like, take a bathroom break eventually and then see that, like, Harold Blautooth has declared war on you and, like, get literally caught with your pants down. And this caravan is just kind of cruising through. God, I I still don't understand why aluminum is a resource in this game when they barely use it for anything. I'm pretty sure it's just the hydro plant. Like, oil is super important, uranium is super important, but aluminum kind of just exists. I am the host. It is my congress now. Oh, hey, they got first back. Cool. Is, is the war going to break out again? Oh, fuck. This guy has uranium. This guy has five uranium. That is not pleasant. Give me your silk. There we go. That's a fair trade. Like, of course the guy right next to me has to be the one that has the uranium. I'm, like, gonna ask him for his uranium. He's gonna say no and then just drop a nuke on my city. That's pretty much how it's gonna go, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Like, hey, dude, can I can you spare some uranium? Yeah, take this. It just drops all his uranium on me. Did he just build another place? No, that's always been there. He built this just recently, I think. We have completed the Apollo program. Everyone take a look at me. I did it. I have built it. And I'll build this. Might as well. Adopt policy. And I, I guess we can get a new tenant here. One culture from each great work. We don't have any great works is the problem. Uh, No one's following freedom, I guess. This isn't going to give me anything extra. Oh, wait. I have some great works, it looks like. Oh, right. When you build, just by existing, you have one great work automatically. So that's neat, I guess. The I get the, uh, the pity one. <laughs> and I think I did actually get two archaeology sites as well. So we have a little bit of a boost. Right, who's giving me the most money here? Eleven. Monaco. Uh, Monaco's already big friends with us. Duckwater. Yeah, we'll just go to 
duck water. Gonna hang out with the Shoshones. Yeah, it looks kind of scary that he has all these units, but I think he's just gearing up to fight Monaco a second time. And that's fine. He didn't win the first time, and Monaco still has that great general standing, so I don't think he's going to win the next time he tries either. He's looking kind of like a clown right now. Oh, and Denmark's getting denounced. Nice. It's not me this time. Though the show showed I'm pretty sure at this point has denounced everyone, including me, when I've literally done nothing wrong in my entire life. I have been perfect. I have been harmless. I am just sitting here with the Apollo program. I haven't even built the Manhattan pro Project yet. It's like not like I've done anything. Wait, is this... Okay, that's a... That's a one-range unit. I'm gonna put our military man over here. We're gonna move up a little bit further. I, I think he's getting a little too close for comfort. And we'll promote this guy to a cavalry, I guess. Unit needs orders. Great War Infantry can be promoted to an infantry. Uh, we'll just defend. Alright. While this next turn passes, I am going to take a quick, quick... I have, to, I have to go to a faculty meeting. Let me just see where my text source is. I could have sworn I had one here, but... Let's see. Add text source. Just one sec real quick. I need to excuse myself. Could have sworn I had something here for that, though. There we go. All right, I am going to be right back. Give me a moment, everyone, and we will continue our regularly scheduled global domination. There we go. And let me just disappear myself so it doesn't look like I'm just AFK. I am literally AFK. Be right back. I'm back from the faculty meeting that, just like pretty much every other faculty meeting, could have just been summarized in an email, you know? It's always so weird, but I get that, you know, when you're the person in charge of everything, there's, a little, there's always people higher up than you that make sure that you're doing things that they want you to do. So sometimes, while I hate going to these kinds of meetings, it's always like, yeah, you're probably going to get in trouble if you don't do this, so I kind of get it, but also... I didn't have to be awake for any of this. You could have just pretended that we had a meeting and shot the shit instead of just telling me things like... Things that I already know. They always seem really redundant, or they always seem like things that they're trying to get us to do things that, like... Seem really out of touch with how teachers have to interact with students. I feel like that's one of my biggest pet peeves. 
when it comes to teaching is that administration's always like, yeah, you gotta do all these things for the kids. That sounds like coming from people who have not worked with kids in a while. Or don't understand how the technology that we use work. Like, why do they keep on telling us to make a folder specifically for students that are out and learning virtually? If I'm already uploading everything digitally, why do I have to make a specific folder? It's just such a weird thing, like, out of touch, you know? Like, I feel like people just get to higher powers and then just forget what it's like to be a teacher. It's something I've been thinking about recently. <laughs> I've also been thinking about, God, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot. He really is just going to go round two on Monaco again. I am becoming we got dead. nuclear fission. Ooh, and that gets us six turns away from the advanced ballistics. And then can I just buy a great scientist straight up, actually? How many can I buy with faith? This only costs a thousand. How much does another one cost? 1600. Holy moly. <laughs> That jump is very big. All right, so we get, we're gonna get our great scientists. We're gonna just drop three of them immediately. They're all going to just do big researches. Cause at this point we don't, we have enough tile improvements for science. I don't think we need to drop any more. We're just gonna do big science boosts. Let's see. Why does everyone want this really stupid wonder that no one can build? No one spawned in the desert. <laughs> Except for the Zulu, I guess. We got the Hubble Space Telescope. Wonder. The most literate people. 65 technologies. I have 16 more than Harold Bluetooth. <laughs> Alright. 4,000. So I got advanced ballistics. Uh... Let's see, this is gonna be 4,000 again. We got combustion. <laughs> Look at this, and we got my, my main man Euclid here too. And then we have this, and then we need to go over to nanotechnology. So we're gonna use this on combined arms. Goodness, that is a big jump. So now we only need 15 more turns to get to the end of the game. <laughs> It went from needing 25 turns to 15 turns. We just cut out 10 whole turns of waiting by just blasting science at everything. And we have these. Ooh. These only take 5 turns as well. 5-5, five, five, and then we're going to get that last one. So 20 turns is what it should take. We're building the SS Cockpit. And I swear on my life, Harold, if you try to go through Monaco, if you try to get to Jonju, you got a lot to bust through. Did you accept freedom? Yes, finally! Someone accepted freedom! Someone believes in what I believe in. <laughs> Everyone's like so, so against freedom. But, but you know, sometimes you just need those freedom fries. Oh, Belgrade. Oh, poor naive Belgrade. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What am I doing here? How, many, how much does it cost... To, it literally only costs 1900 to build this. Once I get to the last spaceship part, I should have the first two done. And I'm just going to buy the last one in Seoul. And then we're just going to... That's just going to be the end of it. The end is very much, very much in sight. We're just going to pump research then. If that's the case. And we might be able to build another great scientist as well, actually. Yes, Morocco man. We are both freedom men, so I'm sure we understand the same kind of values. Alright. He's got another great general here. It's still Robert E. Lee! Robert E. Lee is still alive after a hundred years! The man is a relic. Holy shit. Wait, they gave me rocket artillery? I don't understand how they have this sort of military insight but I do appreciate the fact that I can just blow people up from a distance that is a three range missile man you're going up here these guys try to fuck with me it's over for them <laughs> I see your army is amassed near my empire if you wish to attack the 
dude. Dude? Dude. You have been amassing your armies near my empire for the past half a millennia? Please, kindly fuck off. I haven't even entered your territory. You've walked through my land to attack Morocco. I don't know what it is that you're all up in arms about. I have never crossed my territory lines. Blowing up people from a distance is quite a luxury, isn't it? I was playing Advanced Wars yesterday, and once I got to the- once I had the luxury of being able to place like nine rocket artillery units in the proper distance to shoot people from afar, it was like a power trip like no other. It was an S rank power trip, is what I would say it was. Oh no, Belgrade. Upcoming session, ISS. I feel like I might win before the ISS even gets built. <laughs> I feel like I won't even have the time to like invest in the International Space Station because we'll just end the game before before we need to worry about anything. All right. So these guys are just chilling here. <gasps> oh, we got uranium. We just got uranium. Purchase a nuclear plant. There we go. Easy. So that is going to be still two turns. Ugh. It doesn't speed things up. But wait, can I go for a production focus here? Citizen management it is on production focus. Manual special control. None of these give high production value, it looks like. Yeah, it's all in factory and workshop already. Ah, I wanted a little bit more production to speed things up, but it looks like we can't do that. Rocket artillery chills there. And we can build the Great Firewall of China. Warm salutations to you, wise leader. I'm pleased to see that you have also chosen to follow the path of freedom. The free world will be stronger with one more nation to help us all fight against oppression. See? See? Someone finally gets me. Someone understands what it's like to be a free man. So seven turns left. Seven turns left. I can just feel the victory in my grasp. It's like in Pokemon, when, you, when you're when you playing in Gen 5 Pokemon and you get to that last Pokemon from the gym leader and like the victory music starts playing. That is like, that was like a really cool touch that I think they also pretty much added back in in, um, what is it, Sword and Shield? I think it's really cool because there's so only so much you can do in like a turn-based fighting game or in turn-based RPG to like make the action seem more dynamic. But like the way Pokemon black and white had like the low HP music remix where instead of just having the annoying beeping it turned into an entire different soundtrack that was that was like revolutionary when it first happened and then they just took it out in later installments which felt really bad but at least they made it so that the beep isn't permanent <laughs> just the permanent beeping I played enough Kingdom Hearts where I'm desensitized to it but I always think about like it being like really annoying for anyone like watching a stream to hear like constant low HP beeping Got all these caravans. For a second, I thought these were enemies. Ooh, SS cockpit? Cock. Let's go and launch that bad boy up to the Alpha Centauri spaceship. And then purchase. I don't think we can... I don't think we need to purchase the SS booster. We can just build that one in four turns. And then we have open technology tree. Danish coup in Geneva. Okay. I guess so. We have 13 turns, and then we can just buy the last one. <sighs> I'm surprised it only took me two streams to beat a game. I, we are playing on the quickest difficulty, so it makes sense that it, didn't, that it only took two streams. Our proposal to the World Congress was defeated at the hands of your delegate. Shut up. You proposed some stupid stuff. Maybe you should make better proposals. Actually, did world religion get passed? I don't even remember. I don't remember if the world history got passed before. Global politics, deal history, no. World Congress, let me see. Okay, yeah, no, no that didn't get passed. <laughs> okay, we have a caravan to move. I'm not surprised that <laughs> I'm not surprised that world religion didn't pass. I could just imagine them all at the same time just going like, "Fuck no, that's not going to be a world religion," and I was like. Well, I guess I'm playing with a bunch of old-school Fire Emblem Elitists then. 
Bet you all think that Genealogy of the Holy War is the Holy Grail of Fire Emblem games. What? You're declaring war over here? I mean, okay. It's not like I needed them for anything. They're kind of just... I'm literally just surrounded by two meat shield, meat shield city-states. Technically from the south, also Geneva. Like, I actually... And Mo Mogadishu, too. Like, I'm surrounded by city-states that are all allied with me to the point where I can just pretty much just buy protection from any of them. They're not going to attack me. But, uh, I hope, I hope Wittenberg doesn't lose. They do have better military, I believe. Right, we're at 1983. Let's see here. We can do 15%, 15% influence from military unit gifts. Okay, that's not, that's not anything useful. Uh, I guess volunteer army. Just so that this guy doesn't try to walk at me. We can put our foreign legion guys. Holy moly, we have so much distance that we can cover. <laughs> yeah, foreign legion is nice just because, like, I do not have to think about protecting people. Or about, like, building, like, military. Because these guys are free. They're free. And also, if, um, if they die, then other units will be free as well. Six units just are for free, which is useful. I can promote this guy to a infantry. <gasps> I can even promote them as well. That's useful. But they're strong enough as is. 42, which is still stronger than the ski men. Oh, wait, no. He has infantry still now, though. So I might have to watch out for that. But with six free bodies, six warm bodies to just take up spaces, I don't think I'm in any danger. I think we just need the extra turns to get to the last bits of science. I would need four turns to... Oh yeah, we could do that. In four turns I can buy a great scientist, and then after I buy the great scientist, it saves me a couple turns of building, of researching. So we're almost there. We're gonna get there a little bit faster because of this. That's getting messed up. Wittenberg's getting messed up here. Let's see, let's see. Ooh. One of their guys just died. But I think they're probably going to end up getting a great general soon. So they should be pretty much healthy even even after all is said and done. Once I get that great general, it'll be pretty much over. And this guy only has three ski infantry. Yeah, imagine your, your entire capital city is getting taken over by like six dudes on skis. I feel like at that point, if you lose that war, you probably deserve to uh, forfeit your forfeit all of your earnings to the guys on the skis. Like, that is just a fat L. That's just like, <laughs> of all the kind of military units to lose to, you lost to the guys on skis. Right, let's go over here. Over here. Over here. We're just gonna be somewhat imposing, but not too imposing. Just a little scary. Just a... Uh, just to assert a little bit of dominance as a treat. How much pressure am I exerting on Monaco right now? A lot. A lot? <laughs> that would be so mean if I did, though. Imagine just, like, bullying like that. Let's see, historical landmarks, great percentile improvements, but two cultures wouldn't work, and landmarks built by archaeologists. I mean, I would get a lot out of that. We're gonna go 10 over... We're gonna go 12 over here. And you know what? Let's let's build some landmarks. Let's make the, the Shoshone guy a little bit happier. Let's make him not so mad at me. Sorry. I don't really want to fight anyone. You keep on putting people next to me and also fighting my allied city states, so I don't know if I like I'm happy with that. You seem kind of rude, if I'm gonna be honest. Like just constantly walking in and out of your house every day with like a bazooka and like two pistols. Trying to find the next fight to pick, but it's not never with me. Never with me. Always with everyone else. Despite the fact that the game is alerting you that I'm building spaceship parts. You'd think you'd think the AI would realize, hey, maybe we should wage war on the guy that's about to win. But you know what? Maybe they're just scared of me. Maybe they're just afraid of my power, of my raw military strength. Which unironically is like pretty big right now. 
I have a lot of enemy, uh, a lot of military units unintentionally. I think that foreign legion really gave me a big boost in power. Historical landmarks failed? How? Well, this... Only Denmark said nay to the International Space Station. If I gave more to this, let's see. That was... That was uh, 14 for yay, and... It literally lost by one. That's insane. Holy moly. I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Shoshon Man. But uh, it looks like your thing's not passed. It's not my fault this time. You cannot come up to me and blame me for, for your failures here. All right, we got the SS booster. Can we purchase a great scientist? No, we need two more turns. Wait, what? Booster? Oh, we need three boosters! I see. I see. I forgot about that. So it's technically five parts. Okay, I forgot that you need three boosters to win this, to get the uh, that victory there. That's fine though. In the time period that it'll take to do that, we'll probably get enough money to uh, buy two parts. Damn, I thought we were a lot closer, but we're still pretty close to winning. Just a minor, minor, minor setback. But my allies are still full HP, which means that they're not going to start war on me. They're not going to use their not capital to fight my capital. It just doesn't make sense. They would not win that fight. They would lose it horribly, honestly. Ooh, and this is a spaceship factory, which isn't going to help us here because Jonjo already has a spaceship factory. Oh, that requires aluminum. That makes sense. That is another thing where aluminum is important. It's the hydro plant and the spaceship factory. So aluminum is important for a uh, spaceship or for what is it? Aluminum is important for science victories. That's what it is. Enact world War. leader. They fucking stole my dynamite. Wait, am I just gonna win by world leader vote? This has to be. Civilization receives enough. Delegates to win world leader proposal is forty. If no civilization releases enough to win, the two civilizations to really see the most permanently gain two to use in future sessions. So wait. I have 60 delegates. 16 delegates. I would need essentially 12, 12 city-states. That's not going to happen. We're not going to win by world leader. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how else you get more delegates. Let's see. Aside from just bribing city-states... What did we do last route here? Was this the feeding? No. We can go to Addis Ababa. And then next turn. Yeah, if it costs 1900 for a spaceship part, we should be able to buy... In 10 turns, we'll be able to get another spaceship part with gold. Actually, we could probably just trade people for gold at this rate. We can just go through trades, and maybe we can scrounge up enough gold to just buy the second spaceship part outright. <laughs> oh, we need seven turns. Oh, and we can get the X... <laughs> I forgot that was a unit in the game, the XCOM squad. Skilled at dropping into danger from far across the world. Can move and pillage after landing, but cannot enter combat. That is such a ridiculous power, though. Just para-dropping. Harold Blue... Who did he launch a sneak attack on? Certainly wasn't a sieve, maybe a city state. Also, I did not realize I was so close to getting a. <laughs> I didn't realize how close I was to getting a. What is it? A golden age. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take the extra gold. Gold and culture. And production, actually, too. Ooh, the production boost is really nice. Because yeah, two turns. So we'll get the next SS booster after this. And then we can just buy the stasis chamber for free. That actually lines up perfectly. Very perfectly. As long as he doesn't put a military unit in front of my railroad, we should be fine. And it doesn't look like he can cross into my border, so yeah, we'll be fine. There is no feasible way that I lose this. And there you go. These guys can't even take on city-states. How could they ever hope to take on Seoul? 
How could they ever hope to take down Korea in the year 1988? We are slowing down a little bit. Normally the space race would have been finished by now. Though, I don't know. I feel like the spaceship in, uh... The spaceship that's implied in Civ Five is a little bit more technologically robust than the one that they have in, uh, real life right now. I think the implication that the space spaceship that they use is probably one that would let them go to, like, farther than the solar system. That's what I'd imagine, at least. Because, like... I don't think, like, like the stasis chamber, I don't... Is that... Like, with nano... Like, because the stasis chamber is a nanotechnology, I don't think that's really, like... Looking at how far this is, I feel like the spaceship here is, like, more robust than the spaceship they've used to go, like... During, like, what... I think it was the 60s when they first went to the moon. I think the spaceship here is supposed to be something more powerful. What did Belgrade give me now? I hope it's an XCOM unit. I hope I got the XCOM. No, another mobile Sam. What's... Oh, wait, people have been actually working on the... <laughs> on the ISS? I didn't even realize. Alright, let's see. Chiefs production. The last of the SS boosters. And then you can go... We'll get 12 gold for that. The SS booster can now go over here. Almost done. And then Melbourne. These guys were at war with each other? I see. Alright, 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 alright. Four more turns until we win. And we, did, we actually will have won by turn 273, which isn't too bad. Oh, fucking hell. He got the Manhattan Project. We need to win fast before he nukes one of my cities. <laughs> I don't know if he's close enough to nuke anywhere. No, I, yeah. He's over here. I don't think he's going to nuke Seoul. He could nuke these guys. He could nuke Morocco. But I think we should be fine. I think we're safe. I can, I can taste the victory. It's just... It's just that, like, waiting period where you know you're at the end. That point in time where nothing can go wrong, and then like the turn before something goes incredibly wrong. That's what I'm that's what I'm waiting for right now. I'm expecting that to happen. Like I'm gonna build the SS stasis chamber, and then Soul just gets nuked, and then I just lose my capital, and then the game's over. <laughs> and then someone else gets a uh, domination victory. That's what that's what's gonna happen. Monaco seeks protection. You're already super protected. Look, I got... I, I'm backing you up with six foreign legion dudes. Monaco was forced recently to pay tribute. Whoa, those guys are bullies. I like Korea. Everyone's voting for me. Korea votes for Korea. I feel like it's just ridiculous. Like, why would you ever vote for anyone else? I guess for team games, right? I guess if you're doing, a, like, a 2v2... I guess, like, a team of two would vote for, like, one person to, like, pool the votes together. And, like, maybe one person's focusing more on culture, the other's focusing maybe, like, more on military. So the culture player, or, like, the, uh, the person focusing on city-states would be able to dump a lot of delegates onto one person. That's probably... That's probably the reason why you can vote for other city-states, or for other civilizations. <sighs> no world leader chosen. Pocatello thinks he's so nice because he has 13 wonders built. Let's make a proposal. And that proposal is... Prevented from constructing nuclear weapons. Yes. I don't like nukes. We don't need nukes. Nukes aren't necessary. What is necessary is this fat dub I'm about to take, though. Harold Blautooth, why do you need nu- Oh, he has nukes. That's why. He has- He has uranium. That's why he's angry. But that's okay. Let's just... Two more turns. One turn to actually send the booster over. One turn to build the stasis chamber. And then... And we're done. And that's it. This was what? Like, maybe like a six-hour playthrough? Very, very actually. Like, I'm surprised that I beat, I beat this in two sittings. Oh, no. Oh, no. They, they got the International Space Station. Uh-oh. 
appears in the capital, and then they get production from scientists and plus one science from engineers. Great scientists provide 33% more science. Uh-oh. Pocatello has so much science. I'm so scared. Shut the hell up. We're launching you into space, and we're purchasing the SS stasis chamber, and then we're winning in the next turn. So I'm just gonna get ideology. More tourism from broadcast towers, which we don't have any broadcast towers. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh. He thinks he's so nice with this 15... With his 15 wonders. I'm gonna be able to build giant death robots. See how you like them apples. And an XCOM squad for good measure. Co the Korean SS stasis chamber. Yeah, come on. Wage war against me, Harold Bluetooth. I'd like to see you try. We're winning here. We're winning. It only took 274 turns. You're stuck in the desert, dude. You have, like, this much space, and you ha There was no one around the Zulu, and he just chose not to do anything. He chose not to take all this incense, the salt, the iron. He had so many resources that he could have taken, and he just chose to take none of it. I guess it's hard to build civilization on desert. Harold Blautooth is... Uh-oh, he's doing a sneak attack. Uh-oh... Anyway, where is my caravan? Here. I'll send you to wherever. And then, here it is. Here it is. The final. Only two streams to do this. The SS Stasis Chamber. Is it not going to show me that I won? Do I have to end my turn? Is that it? I mean, I guess I could just build another guided missile. And then I can... Use my XCOM squad to just drop in over here. <laughs> it looks so funny to see them flying like that. Alright. Tell me that I've won. Tell me that I've won now. Tell me that he's going to declare war on me. Alright, alright. Everyone does their actions. Come on, you don't you don't gotta you don't gotta beat around the bush. I know I won. I know I'm I'm a brilliant strategist. Even Western strategy games can't stop me from winning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> City states are going. Where's my victory screen? No longer friends with the Geneva. Oh no, I'm no longer friends with the Geneva. Hey? Hey. Wait. Do Am I not done yet? Do I have to build the... Do I have to... Do I have to produce a spaceship now? Is that it? I... Where... What? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I... I thought I built the spaceship parts. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Do I have to build the Manhattan Project? I'm so confused at the moment. Maybe I'm missing research. Am I? I could have sworn I got all the parts. Fuck! God damn it! I'm so dumb! I was so confident! No! I thought I was so close. We need so many more turns. Oh, fuck. <laughs> damn. I see. <laughs> hey, Raddy. <laughs> Welcome. Alright. Okay. Okay. Anyway, we're going to buy a great scientist. God damn, I am so dumb. <laughs> we were so close. We were so close. Oh, man. You, Robert Goddard, you're going to stay there until... I'm going to let this guided missile sleep for now. That's going to be cooking. We're going to have that guided missile cooking until someone tries to meth with me. Alright. So once we start building that stasis chamber, or that particle physics thing, we will be able to just insta-build it with the, uh... What's his name? We're going to be able to insta-build it with Robert Goddard. He's going to speed that up, so we're going to be able to get it as quick as possible. Damn, I thought it was so close. 
Why did I think there were only three parts to the spaceship? I thought it was just the booster, the the uh, stasis chamber, and the other thing. But there's also that one last part. God damn! <laughs> I was so confident too. Jonju is starving. No, you're not. Don't be such a drama queen. We're sending you food right now. All right, we're gonna sleep, and then Carl Linnaeus. That's five turns with the research. Ecology. And telecommunications gonna take five turns. So we have eleven turns. And then we can insta build the SS engine. Uh, is a great scientist gonna be born yet? Oh, a great scientist is gonna be born very soon. So we're gonna actually do science focus. Twenty-eight. So that's gonna be four turns. Oh, that's very good. We do that. Do you have a great time? Oh, oh, never mind. We're still really close. We're still super close. We have so many great scientists coming up. It's like the Cold War. We at we just introduced we introduced new math into the curriculum so that we could uh succeed in the space race better than everyone else. That's it. So that's gonna be one great scientist popping up, and then I think in three turns we'll have another one. The second one might even be redundant if, if I had the first one. God, I still can't believe. I was so confident, too. I had all the confidence of someone who didn't deserve to have that confidence. We what? I mean, cool, I guess. There should be one more turn until we get the Great Scientist. No, not one more turn. We have a couple more. So both both should probably spawn at the same time then at this rate. Do you really want to give me aluminum for? Fr I mean, I I'll take your aluminum, I guess. Shaka Zulu has finally entered the modern era. Looking like he's from the Flintstones era right now. So behind in this technology. Ooh. But I like how we can see we can finally see that all of Korea's land is finally unified. That is very satisfying to see that all the uh, borders have connected except for this one little tile here. But it really does feel like less like colonies and more like it just is one country now instead of a weird colony. All right, go to Copenhagen. You. All right, mobile tactics in four turns. But yeah, we will need the other great scientist, which is going to be soon. 28. Yeah, plus 28. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. So it's going to take how many turns? That is 28. So we're 100 and 125 away. So it should take five turns. Five turns, that should be enough. Because we'll get mobile tactics in four, and then having him use his science power will give us the next one immediately. Uh, we're gonna do 13 here, and 5 there. Commit our delegates. And what do we have here? The CN Tower gives us culture, and a free broadcast tower in all cities. I could mess with that. We could get free tourism for no reason. It's gonna give us like a 33% output for each broadcast tower, which is nice. Pretty much ignoring the fact that I'd never had to build it. We just, we just use wonders to build things. Easy. Who else? Lazulus, why did you accept autocracy of all things? I only have one friend here going, going along with me with freedom. I also have not placed a spy down for the past, like, 30 turns. <laughs> I've just ignored him the entire time. That's alright. He, he can just rest. He doesn't need to worry about anything. Everyone else is doing a good enough job. City of Light. Ooh, I got an achievement. Persia is the first civilization to achieve a culture influential with another player. Impressive. Historical landmarks. Oh, these were both passed? <laughs> Denmark is the only one who didn't want it passed. Well, sorry, but you're not nuking me today, buddy. He really thought he could build up these nukes with this five uranium. Look, just because you got lucky enough to find the uranium doesn't mean you're allowed to throw the uranium at people's faces. You're not allowed to commit 
unkind pranks with uranium. Oh, that is a weird... That's just a weird pairing. The Zulus and Denmark? <laughs> I don't even think they've interacted with each other. They literally are, like, across the sea from each other. But I guess, I mean... The two underdogs gotta stick together, you know? They are not the ones in last place, though. I mean, I guess... Maria Theresa is the one in last place, considering she lost her entire civilization. <laughs> hey, purchase with faith. What can I purchase with faith? Let's see. I don't think I ever got a pagoda here. I guess I must have. Ah, whatever. Let's see. Three turns for the CN Tower, two turns for mobile tactics. <sighs> I can actually... Li now I can almost taste victory. Two more turns, and then we get the Great Scientist, and then we will win. We're still going to win before turn 300, which is satisfying enough to me that it didn't have to go to the timer. I guess the timer is turn 330 still, but it is what it is. Yes, Darius, one of Persia. I'm glad you like my uh, propositions. Oh, another... Den yeah, I'm pretty sure the Shoshone have literally announced everything. The Zulus literally have three cities with, like, zero land. What are you denouncing? What are they going to harm? This guy's like just super paranoid. Alright. I like how I've gotten all these like military units that I just didn't choose to build. Belgrade's just like, you know what? We have an extra tank. You want the tank? And they're like, yes, I would sure like the tank. That would be useful. And now Harold Bluetooth is like, oh fuck, I can't mess with this guy now. He's got like tanks. Alright, and then, let's see, next turn, this great scientist, uh, shut up, dude. 28, so that we are, yeah, two turns. Two turns will get us that great scientist. Oh, I'm gonna win. I'm feeling it in my bones. Hong Kong desires incense. Yeah, man, I, I also desire incense right now. Incense smells nice. You know, it would be nice to light up in the room. Maybe I'll do that after the stream's over. Sometimes fresh incense really does help to make a room feel a lot better. I'm a big fan of those uh, cone incense. I feel like they're really strong compared to the stick incenses. They usually have better smells. But I feel like if you use one incense stick for too long, it, like, it like numbs your nose to the smell. That's why I always like mixing up the smells. I remember my family was, like, really against incense for some reason. I feel like they associated it with, like, Indian people for some reason. I think because of, like, church stuff. It was weird. No longer the ally of Hong Kong. Ooh. Oh, so many things are happening at once. We got the CN Tower. We got a great person. We got a policy. Yeah, I guess we can just... What is this? So, I have 100 gold. I am not trade rooting with anyone that has freedom. All right, particle physics. I still need one turn. Are you serious? They really, they're really going to make me have to spend one more turn for this before I can win. All right. All right. I guess I'll just produce more science. It's not like he can, it's not like Harold Bluetooth can do anything to me at this point anyway. I just need to survive two turns, and what? I have negative one uranium? Oh, that's bad. Hey, Silent Chains, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. We're about to finally win this game of Civilization. We're at, um, we're turn 283. We're one turn away from getting particle physics, and we have enough money to buy the SS engine. Hope your day's going good, though, dude. Glad you could stop by. Uh, those guys are starving, but, uh, I don't have to worry about my people starving if I could just buy this. Science is more important than your, than your hunger. The internet doubles tourism output. I like that that's what internet does. Like, it doesn't do anything for, like, your espionage or anything. The internet existing just doubles the amount of tourism you do. Gain one additional delegate in the world congress for every spy as a diplomat. Oh, that's also how you get more delegates. Right. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'd, you'll get five more delegates. Which still would take fucking forever to, uh... It would take forever to get to 40. 
Oh, damn. Drone Drew got so big that they're actually starving even with the caravan. That's not great. But, uh, you know, we're about to win anyway, so they can be a little hungry. It's it's not doing anything to us. They'll, they'll survive. It's the year 2004, and there's only a little bit of a famine. But Korea's going to space, so does anything else really matter? Oh, cool. The, the, the denunciation that I got in, like, 1950 is gone. Now people think that I'm good again. Alright. Now. Now we are gonna win. There we go. There we go. We have... Look at that. Ooh, we're going into space. <laughs> Alright. That took about, like, six hours total, about. The mysteries of nature I just got like 50 achievements for this too because this is a new account world. your triumph will be remembered as long as the stars burn in the night sky I... so let's see how we did here my population value is very bad <laughs> it was just above average actually it's not too bad the Zulu literally I like how Zulu is dead last for almost everything, except for approval rating. <laughs> oh wow, thank you. Thank you for the bit, Sukavat. Thank you. <laughs> this is just so sad to see, though. No food, no no goods, no GNP. I don't think I would- oh. I had the highest approval rating, and the highest literacy rating by 93%. There were only a couple more technologies I was missing out. And then soldiers- I was actually second with military power. I'm pretty sure that was mostly because they kept on sending me military units for free. And I just like kind of just put them in front of my borders. Third and manufactured goods. And then I was like... I wasn't very good at running a civilization that was functional. But goddamn could I build spaceships. <laughs> Where did I get? 1,495 points. The highest we could get is 2,500. Ugh. Man, I was I was in the sec I was in the top half at the very least. We did we did good enough. We did good enough to be the top half of point scoring. All right, go beyond Earth. I'm not playing Civilization Beyond Earth. <laughs> All right, so I think that was a pretty solid run. We did pretty good. So let's just I think we can call it for now. So let's go and rate someone. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the total world domination via science prowess and just spamming academies. <laughs> but what we're going to do now is we're going to go and pay a visit to someone who is, I believe, debuting. Debuting a new model or lore, maybe? They're debuting something. <laughs> so let's go and pay a visit to Raid Lure. So thanks for stopping by, everyone. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm not sure if I'm going to stream tomorrow. I'll be putting out my schedule probably sometime later today or maybe early tomorrow. But I'll see you when I see you. Class is dismissed.